The next part of the neurological examination is postural responses, assessing weakness and proprioception. What I want to show you in the next video is how to use hopping and hemi walking as the most accurate way of assessing proprioceptive deficits in animals. My next tip is to encourage you to use hopping and hemi walking to assess postural reactions. And for this, I mean to assess weakness and proprioceptive deficits. And I would like to discourage you from ever assessing this by pulling a piece of paper out from underneath the animal's limbs. Uh, this is a very inaccurate way to assess this. And just imagine if you had any difficulty standing upright for any, diff any reason whatsoever, whether it be vestibular disease, weakness, proprioceptive deficits, then somebody pulling out um, uh, your foot from where you're standing is going to make you fall over and, um, and the reason for that will not be as apparent uh, as if you did more precise localising tests. So what do I mean um, by that? Uh, these postural reactions. Well, this is this part of the neurological form um, uh, and so hopping um, it is um, usually the first test that I will do um, and uh, the principle is that uh, the animal's joint should all be aligned um, in a straight line should we say so the shoulder joint should be directly over the elbow joint should be directly over the um, uh, the carpus and as soon as you move that in um, uh, move the proximal joint over, so the hip or the shoulder over, push the animal over, and of course this is what you do with larger animals like horses and Great Danes, then the, anim uh, the animal should, um, uh, the proprioceptive system should realise the joints are no longer uh, in alignment and make the necessary corrections, and so you get a hop. Um, by contrast, poor position is when you knuckle over a foot um, and uh, assess the animal should be able to realise that the foot is in an abnormal position and rapidly correct it. However, some species that is uh, um, a less valuable test than others. And in cats, it takes quite a marked proprioceptive deficit before the, the cat will allow you to, to have a knuckled over paw. And of course, uh, something like a horse, I mean, they, they can have quite severe proprioceptive deficits, but they will never stuck, stand on a knuckled over hoof. And so poor position sense is much more useful in, um, in dogs. Uh, hemi walking and, um, and hemi standing, this is where you uh, support uh, the animal's weight. Obviously, this is much easier to do in smaller animals, but also this is a much easier test for assessing proprioception in smaller animals and in animals more, uh, perhaps more difficult to handle like an anxious cat. Um, and you move the animal forward in a walking position and you should see that those feet are placed uh, normally and appropriately. And in this cat here, um, we have a slight delay in the uh, pelvic limb, which we're going to see here. So here is our paw position sense for this puss cat. And you can see that this cat actually won't let me uh, knuckle over that paw. And here we have it for next cat, sorry, our next limb. It's a bit more difficult to do one-handed with a cat, um, but that's real life. Don't always have assistance and we can get the suggestion this is delayed in this cat, but it's really quite quick. It doesn't really want me to, to uh, let that foot be, be flexed over again. This It looks like I'm not doing anything, but the cat is really actively preventing me from flicking that that foot over. Now notice I'm supporting the weight of the cat, don't want weakness to come into play here. And again, we don't get much uh, ability to be able to, to see the cat stand over. But here we go with hemi walking. We can instantly see that that pelvic limb is placed a little bit more far, further forward than we would expect. It's a bit hypermetric. See the knuckling there on the other side? And again, some knuckling. So it's much easier for me to assess this cat, which I'm having to handle 
uh, single-handedly, which again is not unusual in our veterinary practice. We don't all have um, the staffing to allow assistance in the consulting room with us all of the time. They're all busy doing other things. And here we have hopping. You can see as the shoulder moves over, there's an instant um, uh, correction to put the joint underneath. All the joints in alignment. Whereas in contrast, when we move the hip over in this cat, there is a considerable delay and we can see the knuckling again uh, in this cat, illustrating that this delay is due to a proprioceptive deficit. And again, it seems to be worse on the right than it is on the left. So I'd really like you to do these tests, uh, start doing them in your regular practice. You'll find assessing proprioception is much more accurate and more easy, uh, easy to do. And our next tip is the spinal reflexes and uh, that the withdrawal reflex is your most useful uh, spinal reflex to do.